Good job. There you go. Let's drop Can it. you do another I one win. with I win me three. under the dotted line? Yeah, when he comes here, he has to work. And he has to work every day. Anyone? What color is that one? Orange. The orange one? What should I do with it? Every moment that Alex is awake yeah. is what? Go, go, go. When, when you first have your child, you have all these dreams of Ivy League school and he's going to become a doctor. I mean, it's, you know, all the normal dreams and hopes that any parent has. Um, but going through, going through this with him um, has grounded me in a way that's been really beautiful. It's been a gift. I didn't know what autism was. I had heard the term before, but I wasn't familiar intimately what that meant um, developmentally or, or what, um, what that would mean to see a child with autism. Nice. And then we're going to get our trophy swing. By the age of three, Alex had uh, no language. Can you get me one of those rings? And when we moved to here to Georgia, obviously our first concern was what kind of resources can we access here in Macon. We had a lot of people, we asked them, we, we let them know what Alex's needs were, what we were getting in a different state. And then you pull the robot's legs down. Good job. And, you know, even with all of those people trying to help us, it was not an easy process. Can I get a double half of that? we realized we needed a diagnosis. We needed an official diagnosis in order to understand exactly where he was on the spectrum. One paper and then all done at the table. Initially when we went to make that appointment, it was a year and a half waiting list for us to get in to get that diagnosis. Um, and that tells you the demand that's in the population here just in Georgia. And then if you can imagine in that process learning that Early intervention is the best. Getting therapy as soon as possible is, is, your, is your best hope in making a significant impact for that child. And then discovering that you can't get that diagnosis for a year and a half is, is devastating. There's Atlanta and then there's the rest of Georgia. Um, so having something here in middle Georgia that can serve middle and south Georgia um, I think is Obviously, there's a great need um, with so many families, you know, that were waiting to be seen up at Marcus. The goal ultimately is to have Alex um, integrate uh, into um, uh, what they call typical um, classroom with uh, peers and being able to manage day-to-day um, -to -day life without needing that uh, extra assistance. So, you know, we'll come here as long as he needs. I, I just want him to be happy at whatever he chooses to do. And I want every day to be joyful for him and not a struggle and for him to wake up happy and motivated. And that's that's ultimately what I want for him. <laughs> All right, should we make one more?